Hey, this is Sasha, and in this video, what I'd like to do is share with you exactly what is a keyword and how do you use it in search engine optimization. Well, a keyword in simple plain language is basically a word or phrase that many people use or type in to find what it is that they're looking for. So if I'm looking to find great cupcakes in the Tampa area or in the New York City area, then I might search for cupcakes in New York City or pizza in New York City. So if you're looking for something specific, you can search by using these keywords. Now, keep in mind, it's not just any one single word. So for example, it's not just pizza, because if you type in just pizza into Google, you're going to get a lot of different results. So here, if I take a look at Google and I go ahead and type in pizza, you can see that uh, right here in this area, what you'll get is some of the more popular pizza places. Pizza Hut, Atavola Pizza, Marco's Pizza. Um, you know, you get the top 10 pizzas near Cincinnati, which is currently where I'm at. Papa John's Pizza and Delicioso, coal-fired pizza. So there's a lot of uh, things that are related, but what if I'm looking for just logo and that's all I search for? If I search for just logo, now I get a definition, I get logo TV, logo garden, logo in the Wikipedia. If I'm looking for a logo designer, I can get more specific. Now we're talking about a keyword phrase. So now this is a phrase, not just a keyword. So you can see here, now you get a logo maker. This is where you can make your own logo in minutes. You get, a, again, a logo maker, graphics, spring, create your own logo, instant logo maker. Uh, but here you get logo design, logo tools. Um, you also get, again, more logo maker. Here is 99designs, which is basically where you can hire multiple designers or crowd designing uh, kind of service or a Fiverr designer service. But again, what if I want to sit down with my logo designer, then I might go ahead and search for logo designer Tampa or logo designer in Tampa, Florida, right? Because there might be two different Tampas, who knows? Um, so in either case, as you get more and more specific, now you start fine-tuning your search results. So again, Tampa logo design, logo designer in Tampa. So this gets more specific to what I'm looking for. And this is what happens when you're looking for a keyword or uh, key phrases to target. Because as you start digging deeper and we search for keywords, Google has its own tool. There's also another one, keywordtool.io. So if we type in here, let's just say cupcakes, and I go ahead and do a quick little search, what it's going to do is give you a list of other keyword ideas and insights. So there's 703 unique keywords. Now, when you look at this keyword list, you could look at it from two different perspectives. You could look at it from the user side, this is what the users are typing in, or the other side, this is actually what you could target as a business owner, right? So. Uh, because these are the key words. These are things that people are looking for. So again, if you're just a regular user, this is potentially what you, you're typing in. Or if you're a business owner, these are things people are looking at or looking for. So they might look for cupcake recipes. Wow, that's probably a big term. Um, you know, they might be looking for cupcakes and cardio. I have no idea why they would do that, but they might be doing that. Cupcakes at Walmart, cupcakes and rainbows. It could be a company name. I don't know. Uh, cupcakes a la carte, uh, Cupcakes a New York by Melissa. So there's a lot of different things. And if you do the same thing with, let's just say, um, let's take a look at horses. Okay, so if I just type in the word horses on its own and I do a quick search, now you start saying horses for sale, horseshoe bend, horses for sale in Alabama, horseshoe uh, theory. Um, so there, there's a lot of different things. Horses running, horses breeding. So if you're doing more um, things related to, let's say, horses breeding, you could start getting more specific. And then again, go ahead and now you see those keywords that even go deeper beyond just horses in general. So now we get horses breeding Minecraft. Okay, I guess there's Minecraft related where you can breed horses. Horses breeding pictures, horses breeding cows, horses breeding games and videos and humans and uh, horses breeding apps, um, you know, so there's a lot of different uh, horse breeding businesses, right? So there's a lot of different keyword terms that you can keep getting more and more specific into. But ultimately, that's what a keyword is. All right, so to simplify things, a keyword or key phrase is really what people are searching for. 
Now keep in mind, it's not just about getting the big keywords. Yes, there are more people that search for broader keywords because if you just type in the word logo, and if you're the person selling logo design software for people like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, if you just type in the word logo, more than likely that's not what they're looking for. Okay, you might be a designer, you might be a software provider, you know, and let's just say out of 100 people, if only one or two, you have a one or 2% conversion, you know, in that case, you only have one or two people that are looking for your stuff out of 100. On the flip side, if you have the keywords targeted logo design software, now when somebody types that in, even though the, the amount of searches might be less, let's say 35 uh, searches, but you get 90% of those conversions, okay? So let's just say you get to, uh, 30 people, okay? And you get 30 people, it's still much more than one or two people, even though you might get way less people searching for that stuff, but they're looking specifically for you. And since they're looking for exactly what they're looking for and they're finding what they're looking for, and you're able to provide that, your conversion rate will be higher. So focusing on more specific keywords can be really beneficial for you because you're targeting the right people that you want. That is your target market. So thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you really found it helpful. And if you did and you want to get exclusive business trainings, then go ahead and sign up to my newsletter right here by clicking this button. Enter your name and email address when you're there and you'll get sent the newsletters as they come out. And that also includes some of the live classes and webinars that I do as well. So make sure to sign up. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.